Hello and welcome back once again to Gadget Joe and today we're taking a look at the Thermaltix Smart SE 630 Watt Semi Modular PSU. The Smart SE PSU series ranges from 530 to 730 watts and we have here the 630 watt variant. The entire range features a hybrid semi-modular system for added versatility with a high power delivery and efficiency rating to match. The Smart SE comes with an impressive 87% efficiency at 20 to 100% load. This is generally aimed at systems under everyday workloads such as everyday computing tasks and light to moderate gaming sessions. Naturally, the efficiency will drop when more load is brought onto a PSU, however, in real world conditions it certainly proves to be a very efficient power supply. Inside the box you get a nice little bag with the thermal tape branding to the bottom right. Opening this we get another bag that contains all the modular cables you need for the PSU. Opening this bag we have the eSATA power leads with a 6 pin PSU connector. This set houses 3 connections and we have 2 of these identical cables. Next we have a Molex power cable that houses a fan header for power and fan extensions and an additional 3 Molex power connections. Last but not least we have GPU power cables. These connect via an 8 pin connector to the PSU and on the other end have a 6 pin and 2 pin connector that can be clipped together to form an 8 pin for larger GPUs. You get two sets of these meaning larger GPUs or dual cards can be used. They also come in a rather fetching red colour. The cables that come straight from the PSU itself are the 24 pin ATX connector. As expected this can be reduced down to 20 pin for smaller boards. The CPU power pin comes in 8 pin form, however you can get it to 4 pin by simply detaching the connector in the middle as seen here. The rear of the power supply has 6 modular power connections and also some images to the left too. These actually make it look like a full modular supply, however this is likely not the intention as it is simply illustrating the layout of the available connectors. The GPU power supplies connect into the red slots here and of course the eSATA and Molex supplies then feed into the following slots to the left of this as you can see here. The unit comes equipped with a very modestly sized 140mm cooling fan, however don't let this fool you into thinking it's going to be a loud supply by any means as Thermaltake's intelligent temperature control device is built in too, so that a large fan will only power up when needed under high load meaning that the whole unit is actually surprisingly quiet. The Smart SE 630 is 80 plus bronze rated which means that it is rated for at least 82% efficiency at 20 and 100% load which means that the unit will not only be efficient at power draw from the wall but also efficient in heat dissipation and exhaust which will in turn produce lower running costs. The Smart Series also features a relatively modest 49 amps at the rail which is more than enough for a medium to moderately high end build. This has been our review and unboxing of a Thermaltake Smart Series SE630 PSU. The unit is certainly a very capable and generously equipped one at that and what's even more enticing is the price point. The SE630 is currently available for just £55 over at Scan Computers, I'll leave a link in the description. For what is very efficient, trustworthy and capable power supply for the budget minded builds. We will be using this exact unit in an upcoming build in the previously reviewed View 27 Snow Edition, so be sure to like, share and of course subscribe to see that build very shortly. And that's it for now, so until next time, it's goodbye from me.